Today we are talking about math, math in regards to shorting. And after somebody lectured me and told me that I'm doing the math wrong, I'm gonna double check things and hopefully we can all learn together. This is why I read the comment section on YouTube because the material is awesome. I mean, it, there's gonna be a never ending stream of material when things like this pop up. And some of this is kind of just, you know, kind of tongue in cheek, but there is actually valid math and there's valid learning that we can get from it because this is not the first time that, you know, this person has kind of gotten up on their, their perch and lectured down at me, but in doing so has just kind of not made themselves look so good. But this person, you know, throws in a, a final, that's supposed to be a jab to me that kind of just punches themselves in the face. But like I said, I do agree with what they say. So that's what we're gonna talk about, learning the actual math behind shorting. So let's first get to this YouTube comment because the numbers they use, I'm gonna use those exact numbers because maybe you think this person's right and maybe they are right, but let's run through the math and, and let's exactly see how the numbers work out. So Leo says, this video is flat out effing stupid. You can ignore number one, but number two, Risk works both ways and your math is off. If a stock gaps up 300% from $1 to $4 and you short it down to $1, you made more than 99%. As a trader, the first thing you need to learn is math. Leo, I agree. The first thing as a trader you need to learn about is math. I am not gonna argue about that. So let's do some math because right now our maths are conflicting. You are saying that by shorting you can make more than 99%. So let's go through this and use your numbers and I'll throw in one number. Let's just say that the, the magic number that's being shorted is $500. But everything else, Leo, uh, you know, I'll use your numbers. So you said that a stock goes from $1 to $4. So no problem there. And then you say this stock goes back down to $1 from four, and that you short it up here. So four minus one is what, three, right? So you made $3 per share on the short. Hopefully everybody can follow along, but like I said, I am doing this in kind of a tongue in cheek fashion, but if you're not sure how the math behind shorting actually works, this is how it works. So shorting, you wanna make money when prices go down. As Leo said, if you short something from four to $1, that would be a $3 gain. So the math isn't difficult, that is how it works out. So the question now becomes, all right, well you had $500, so how many shares could you have shorted for five or for $4? So $500 you have, and the price at that time was $4. Pretty sure that's 125, let me grab my calculator. Just, let's make sure, the TI-83, who remembers this thing, classic, divided by four, yeah, 125. So that means you have shorted 125 shares. So we already established that you made $3 per share on the short. And as we just talked about, well, how many shares did you short? Right there, right? 125. So let's multiply that by the profit per share. So multiplied by $3 per share. Oh, great, I need my calculator again. I should be able to do this, this is embarrassing. What if that's 375, right? We better double check. I don't want Leo to get mad at me. 125 times three is 375. Okay, so your profit here, let's go to another color. Your profit is $375. Hopefully everybody's following along. So let's actually calculate the percentage, the return on the money. Because remember, according to Leo, this yields more than 99%. So a very basic return on investment equation. You had how much money? You had $500 that you started with and to calculate your return on investment, you would divide that by, well, your profit. What did that, what did that $500 actually get you? That $500 got you $375. So when you divide that, goodness. I need to put this in another spot. 375 divided by 500 is 0.75. So of course you need to, well, better change the color. I need more hands. What color haven't I used that? So that is giving you 0.75. 
Remember back to college or high school or middle school, how do you convert a decimal to a percentage? You multiply it by 100. So times 100 equals what? That is a 75% return on your money. Let's quickly go through this again. Let's say that this thing went from $4 all the way to zero, meaning basically the perfect trade. So what does that mean? Well, that means that, uh, let's see. Here you made $4 per share, okay? So here you made, again, $4 per share. I know the answer here, but let's just, so you type in 125 times $4 per share profit equals $500. So in this case, you made $500. So now how are you gonna calculate a return on your investment? Well, let's change up the colors again. And well, you started with 500. <laughs> yeah. Uh, am I still on the screen? Okay. So 500 is what you started off with. And then how much money did you make? Well, according to the profit, you made $500. When you divide that, what do you get? You get one. You got to convert that to a percentage. Times 100% equals what? A 100% return. In other words, the best you could ever do on a short is 100%. And that implies that it literally goes down to zero and you can capture every little bit of that move. So Leo, uh, I agree. As traders, we do need to understand math, but this right here is the math of shorting. You cannot gain more than 100% on a short. Now, if you wanna say, well, I was using margin, so technically speaking, it was only like $10. Of That's not what you were saying though according to your premise. You wouldn't bring up margin at all, so that's, that's not what you were saying. And, um, but that, this is how the math works. As a whole shorting, you cannot make more than 100%. Another way to look at this, if somebody were to say, oh, my car just lost all of its value, what would you think, percentage-wise? It lost how much of its value? You would think, well, it lost all of it, so that would be, it lost 100% of its value. You would never think, Oh wow, sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that your car lost 125% of its value. No, if I tell you that all of the pizza is gone and you think about that as a percentage, you're gonna think, oh man, are you, you guys ate 100% of the pizza? Nobody's gonna say, oh, you guys, are, you guys are just savages. I can't believe you ate 175% of the pizza. No, that doesn't make any sense, right? The same principle is here. The, only, the amount of value something can lose is all of its value and all defined mathematically speaking is 100%. So Leo agreed. Traders need to know how to use math and learn math. And hopefully you learned something, Leo, watching this, but because this is, this is how the math works when it comes to shorting. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.